Hey guys, an update on my responder um, the sort of alert system for my local neighborhood that I've been working with the local security committee. Um, it's been a bit quiet and that's because I mentioned on the previous um, the previous blog, vlog whatever that there was some problem with, with the, um, the security guards on duty um, but I did get some feedback from the uncles and it wasn't quite the stuff I was hoping to hear the good news is that they, they still want to give it a, a go um, next month in January, which is good, but they want to make some changes which is kind of like goes against what my design and I, I find it really tricky to explain it to them because I explained it to them before, I guess I need to maybe explain it to them again, again, but um, I, I, I from their perspective I think they're just trying to avoid it any doing anything you know they're like 60 plus uncles and they're not very techno files and to be honest they they the whole security situation they they kind of want to wash their hands of it so they see the system i think and they understand what the system can do but they don't want to manage it i kind of knew this would be a problem i knew this would be the big blocker um and let me give me an example of what they want me to do. For example, when when a new when a new uh, homeowner signs up, they they um they aren't alarmed. So then the there's there's a management requirement whereby um the homeowner signs up. You know you need to verify the address. It's correct, and maybe even verify the telephone number. And then if that's all good, then then it should become alarmed. They want to change the system so that uh, when a homeowner signs up, that they're immediately alarmed and the whole system is like just functional straight away for them. I think that's a bad idea. I mean, you can trigger alarms. I made it so that you can trigger like these like test alarms. You can do as many of them as, as you want, but I think it's not a good idea for them to be alarmed by default. And I've explained that to them before, and maybe they don't understand. I, you know what? I think they they're going to start using the system again, and hopefully, and they're just going to realise the problem with their requirement. <sighs> it's not a big code change to to have a arm um, by default. And they also say that obviously, if they find someone abusing it, then they will go into the system and disarm them. But I really doubt they will do that. Another thing that I was hoping that would happen with the system is that a lot of people don't actually pay for the security in this neighborhood. Like It's like something like 40% of, of the people in this area are paying for security. I was kind of hoping that the people who signed up would ha you know, would be checked off from a list of people who are actually paying. So it became, becomes like a mechanism of, of making sure that people are paying their, their dues. And, and for some reason, they don't want to use the system and for that they seem to don't I, I've told them before maybe this they just, just did, didn't understand what I was suggesting I don't know but but now they made it so that anyone can sign up and my real real concern is that people from you know the next neighborhood might just sign up and, and trigger alerts I mean that's what the doors are opening it to and then the next thing they're probably going to say is like oh why don't we have username and passwords that will, you know some other added complexity to fix an original problem that they created oh well the next thing they, that they want is they want an, an ability to um, well if I trigger an alert here um, okay this is armed so I will get the SMS and the homeowners are so I can trigger an alert here they want um, a button on this alert page. So they, I designed it so that a URL triggers an alert, but they want it so that now that that URL doesn't trigger an alert, that there's actually some sort of button and then there's a confirmation dialog to actually call out the guards. Um, yeah, I knew this might happen. I don't think they quite understand what I was wanting to see happen you know like I, I understand that people can trigger these these URLs accidentally um, but at the same time there need to be URLs in order to be you know to make buttons work to make the homepage work very quickly 
because I feel that if people uh, in an emergency situation need to go through an added step of like finding a button and then hitting OK, I don't think it's the kind of system, it's not the system I envisioned at least. And of course, it means me rejigging the way everything works. But um, well, I just need to add an inter intermediate layer, I guess. Yeah, it's not going to be too hard. Another comment uh, while I have you here is um, um, the thing uh, about writing this PHP thing. I'm not actually showing you the live system. The live system has a lot more homeowners uh, currently, but they largely test but they have real addresses so I'm not gonna show you and they have more responders the thing that I find tricky about doing um, development uh, without a framework I guess like Django and uh, Brails or something like that is that um, there's no I have to write this sort of pager like for example I'm only showing the last 20 alerts and similarly if there's like I don't know 50 homeowners and 10 responders you know, we need. I need to be able to page and and filter um, those records, and with PHP, I feel that I have to write this all myself. And I wonder what the URL is going to look if you know you're on the second page and all these things. I find them really tricky, which I think frameworks probably take care of in an easy way. But of course, there's some sort of trade-off. Um, but that's what I hate writing these little pages, these little filters. I wish it was easier. Okay, I think that's enough. I bored you enough. Um, yeah, I hope I will make those changes that they want, and I'm hoping they go back to my original design. To be honest, I'm leaving this area on Saturday, so I don't really have time to sit down on a on a, on a table face to face with them, explain to them again the the. Well, I just think. I, I hope that when they when they use the system they'll understand what what I envi what I originally envisioned so uh, really I mean it's really up to those guys if they use it they'll see um, the problems but I really hope I, I, I don't we don't make things more complicated because I, you know if they go down this like oh let's create user accounts and passwords and da -da 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 -da, I, I, I'll definitely wash my hands of the whole thing because I want to keep it simple yeah, so I'm I'm still yeah, faintly hopeful that they're gonna roll it out and use it. But otherwise, um, otherwise, yeah, it's it's been interesting. I'm trying to be positive here, it's quite hard, isn't it? Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye now.